Hello friends, as part of Cognitive Venture Points online learning program, today we are going to discuss Claisen's rearrangement, which was discovered by Rainer Ludwig Claisen in 1912, which is a classic example for 3,3 sigma tropic rearrangement. This reaction is a powerful tool to make carbon carbon single bonds. The reaction can be exemplified by, for example, allyl phenyl ether upon heating rearranges to give us ortho allyl phenol. You can see a new carbon-carbon bond is formed in this place. Another example for Claisen's rearrangement is when allyl vinyl ethers are heated, they rearrange to give us allyl ketones. This is mainly due to this arrangement. This can give us the cyclic intermediate, which we'll see in detail in the mechanism. Now we'll discuss the mechanism of Claisen's rearrangement. We have our starting product, allyl phenyl ether. It has a unique structure of 1, 2, 3, a set of pi complex, pi group, another set of 1, 2, 3, pi group. It can undergo 3, 3 sigma tropic rearrangement, which means 3, 3. There will be a new bond formed between third carbon to another third carbon. That is a result of a new sigma tropic rearrangement. The another set is, it can form a six-membered cyclic intermediate. The reaction follows a concerted mechanism. All the bonds are broken simultaneously and all the new bonds are formed simultaneously. So it happens at once. For example, the bond between carbon 2 to 3, so pi bond moves to carbon 2 oxygen and oxygen carbon bond moves to here. This pi bond moves to form a new carbon-carbon bond. This results us in a cyclic intermediate, six member cyclic highly stable intermediate. Again, we get the bond breakage between oxygen and carbon, and new bond is formed between these two carbons. We get a stable keto form of allyl substituted group. And this is a 4 pi system, which is relatively less stable than the aromatic systems. So it can rearrange to form a keto enol tautomerization. Keto form will tautomerize to enol form. This bond will move here and this will move here. Proton will switch to oxygen, we will get a phenol. The phenol form will be highly stable because it is aromatic and conjugated. That is why the equilibrium will be more towards allyl phenol side than the keto form. This mechanism is further confirmed by trapping this intermediate by a reaction. Now we will see the examples of Claisen's rearrangement. First example is a allyl vinyl ether which rearranges to give us the ketone, the allyl substituted ketone. We have a similar structure which we have discussed again earlier. Carbon carbon bond rearranges to here, carbon oxygen bond breaks, new carbon carbon bond forms. The skater forms prevails than enol form because this is aliphatic structure keto form will be more stable than the enol form that is why we have a keto preference in case of aliphatics aromatics will rearrange to phenol enol forms second example if we have a ortho substituted phenol phenyl allyl ethers the rearrangement will still take place but the substitution will go to the para position initially in the first step third carbon will rearrange to third carbon the carbon marked the first carbon will be here and again due to steric hindrance this will further rearrange to a para substituted product if the para position is also blacked by bulky groups the reaction will not take place and in any cases meta substitution will not take place due to resonance of a phenol in summary Claisen's rearrangement is a carbon carbon bond forming reaction it is a 3 comma 3 sigma tropic rearrangement of allyl phenyl ethers or allyl vinyl ethers to corresponding ortho phenyl ortho allyl phenols or keto products and it follows a concerted mechanism if the ortho position of phenyl group is blocked the substitution will go to the para position if ortho and para both the positions are blocked the reaction will not take place and in any case meta substitution will not take place due to resonance structures of the benzene ring thank you